hey guys welcome back to another gets of hell video so today we are going to talk about the current situation of the game and the release dates so the gets of hell developers have released another development update number 95 so they have released a lot of information of the game and we're going to talk about that so Currently, the game is under closed beta and beta testers are playing the game. They are reporting bugs, the developers are fixing the bugs and so on and the process is going on. So as soon as every bug has been fixed, all issues are solved, the game cannot be released because we don't want to invest our money on a game that has a lot of bugs in it and we don't want to be complaining about these bugs after buying the game so it's best to take precautions before releasing the game the same thing happens with us modders when we are making a mod we don't want to release a mod that is full of bugs and uh, that stops you guys from playing the mod <coughs> So the game is currently under beta test and I am happy to know that because after closed beta test uh, they will be sure to release the game as soon as possible. Alright so they have also opened a an official discord server so if you guys want to join it the link is in the description. Uh, this is the official gets of hell discord server. I joined it last night as soon as I heard about it so if you guys want to join the link is in the description okay so why the game hasn't been released in q4 i think 90 percent of the people are asking about it why the game isn't still released it's q4 and q4 is i think there are only four days left for q4 to be finished well i have told earlier that we don't want an unpolished game we don't want a game which causes uh, error or system crash or the game to crash during gameplay we want a fresh new game that we can play uh, with our friends we can work on the editor we can uh, play the single player campaign missions properly so we are expecting uh, uh, something good from this game from the start of its announcement the day when it was announced uh, <coughs> so this is the current situation of the game it's uh, going through closed beta and as soon as closed beta finishes the devs will release the game also we have some very good news about the game uh, the thing is that the developers want to announce a demo version of the game for free before release for us to experience uh, what we are going to expect from the full game well as you know it's gonna be a demo so many things are going to be missing from the game you know how a demo works so it's a good news it's a very great news i'm very happy when i have uh, seen this uh, word play a demo version of the game for free yeah i want to play gets of hell as soon as possible and i don't care if it's beta or demo i just want to play the game right now if it's possible and also they are going to be giving random player access a free to play test uh, I hope that they give me the access um, if they don't then not a problem for me because I'm happy to cover a lot of information about the game and you guys have been supporting my videos from the start so I'm very happy on that All right so this is the current situation of the game uh, the last update of this year and we have to wait until the next update when they will announce the demo version of the game and other uh, changes or things that have taken place so also here is one feature against zero budget uh, over 30,000 man hours have been invested so remember that the devs of this game had zero budget and um, this was supposed to be a mod for Men of Our Souls what 2 or Call to Arms, whatever. But uh, then, um, you know what happens when mods get noticed, they became a game. 
The same thing happened with Counter Strike. It was supposed to be a mod for Half-Life and now it's a fully fledged game. Uh, the same thing happened with Squad. It was supposed to be a mod for Battlefield 2 uh, Project Reality but uh, it became a fully fledged game. So and those games are hit. They are a hit. Uh, Squad is a hit. Uh, Counter Strike is a hit. So. I am expecting nothing less than a hit from Gets of Hell and I will be also making mods on this game to keep it alive because uh, unlike Man of Assault Squad 2 I think this game will be very much alive because because the game will be having German and Russian uh, units in the start uh, the Eastern Front Port and uh, slowly they will be introducing the British, the American and the Japanese and other the Canadians and other World War II historic countries that have taken part in World War II uh, making campaigns, making short missions, making uh, dynamic campaign generator so yeah I'm pretty much excited for the fully fledged release of Gets of Hell when all other nations are introduced in the game so that's when the game will be very interesting to play so hope you guys enjoy this uh, video like as always you guys have been enjoying them so thank you guys for watching and i'll be back with more information that i can collect regarding gets of l updates all right so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time